Playing sketches of salvation is always tricky, and in the steward stack challenge, you start off with it. There are three considerations that must be made when sketches of salvation enters your artifact pool for the run. First, not counting your commander, you need exactly four units, so you'll need to purge all unwanted units as quickly as possible. Having more than four creates the chance that one of your desired units will be left out of the middle floor overstack. Secondly, haste exists in this game, so you will need a reliable and consistent means of countering it, otherwise waves will completely bypass your middle floor death trap. Ideally, this will either be a piercing spell or one that ascends enemies on holdover. Finally, if your champion is going to be part of your strategy, then you will need some means of moving that champion onto the middle floor. This spell is an ideal target for Intrinsic, should that option appear in a Divine Temple. Additionally, if your clan combination offers options to pull units to the front, picking up that option would also be a good idea to ensure that your tankiest unit is always in front. So, what type of units should we seek to put on the middle floor anyway? Well, Let's take a look at some potential good options. The typical beginner strategy is to find and copy units with large attack and health numbers that would otherwise be difficult to play, like Shadow Siege. Quick and Multi-Strike are obviously desirable on such a team. Another consideration is units like Keeper of Echoes, Paraffin Enforcer, Steelworker, and Branded Warrior, all of whom have effects that benefit all friendly units. A floor with four Keeper of Echoes in particular is quite powerful. A single infused spell creates four Inspire triggers affecting all four units, giving each Keeper plus four plus four. So, a single purple card on the All Keeper of Echoes team adds a total of 16 attack and health to the entire floor. That scales very, very quickly. On a similar note are those with uniform mechanics. A floor of four Inspire units, or four Encant units, or four Harvest units is going to scale quickly due to their shared triggers. Of particular note here are Encant and Inspire, because these triggers can occur from the same card. For example, a single purple spell will both trigger Encant and Inspire. It doesn't have to be a Stygian Wormkin combination either. Any faction that wants to cast multiple spells per turn is a good match with either of these two mechanics. Awoken in particular has units with Rejuvenation who will want to cast multiple healing spells in a turn. Likewise, Umbra has the spell-heavy Ember Drain package strategy. As long as the four units on the floor have good synergy and allow for multiple triggers from the same occurrence, it will be a strong Sketches floor.